Afternoon beer drinkers, welcome back to Man Cave Beer Reviews, beers uh, four and five of 12 days of Christmas beers. We have Wiper and True Plum Pudding Porter, uh, coming in at a rather healthy, uh, I've forgotten already, 6.8% alcohol volume, and Humpty Dumpty Christmas Crackling, coming in at a fairly sensible 4.5% ABV. Wiper and True, I've never heard of before. This is recommended to me by Paul at Two Brews. Uh, done some research, uh, based out of Bristol. Doesn't say how long they've been going for, um, but this looks rather good. Uh, Humpty Dumpty Brewery have been going since 1998, and they are uh, based out of Norwich in Norfolk. Um, so both beers I've not had before. And let's crack open the Humpty Dumpty one, Christmas crackling, see how that tastes. And the bottle cap. Let's get into a glass. Yeah, it's lighter than I was expecting. I wasn't sure what I was expecting, but uh, so there you go. Amber, almost almost lagery coloured beer. Slight, slight kind of red tinge to it. Slight ambery tinge, two finger, slightly off white head. Looks really white on the camera, but actually it's slightly off white. Let's uh, see what she smells like, shall we? It smells like beer, which is good. It smells quite malty, but not much else. And the bottle's not giving much away either. Anyway, like I keep saying, Beer's not for smelling, it's for drinking. Let's get our face in it. Cheers. It's not bad. Not bad, but disappointing. That's a nice pint. It's, uh, it's malty. It's um, a little bit of sediment coming through the bottom there because bottle conditioned. Um, it's malty, slightly biscuity, slightly bitter aftertaste, but ultimately it's just beer. Nice beer. Very nice beer, but not Christmassy. Now, I don't know, I don't want to be too disrespectful to Humpty Dumpty Brewery because they've done a good job on that, it's a nice beer. However, to put a beer on display with that label, let it focus, Humpty Dumpty Brewery, Christmas Crackling, Father Christmas, Roasting a Pig, over a chimney pot, you expect a certain amount of Christmasness. Is that even a word? Christmasness? Christmasiness? Don't know. Um, that hasn't got it at all. That's, uh, hang on. Dog was trying to get in. Come on up. Come on. Up. Yeah, you expect a certain amount of Christmasness, and that's uh, that's just a nice beer. It's um, it's a very nice beer, but it's not Christmassy. You done? Good boy. You know, I'd I'd buy it again at the right price. I'll drink it again, but um. When all these breweries keep advertising, you know, Christmas type beers like this. You look at that and think, yeah, Christmas. Um, yeah, it's just a nice beer. And it's a very nice beer, very drinkable, very, very drinkable, but nothing Christmassy about that whatsoever. So um, if that was a standard beer, that would get a three and a half. I'm a sorry Humpty Dumpty Brewery, I'm giving that two and a half because it's just disappointing. Not as a beer, as a Christmas beer. So let's put that to one side and let's carefully crack open this Wiper and True beer. It's got a Wiper and True bottle cap. I'm not going to show you it because it's bottle conditioned and I want to make sure I can pour this carefully. No, that's more like it. That's more like it. 
I'm hoping like the Watson's beers, this one doesn't have much sediment because the Watson's beers, tiniest bit in the bottom, there it is. Ooh, that's careful, 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 careful. Just a little, I think, see that little bit left in the bottom there. Well, I pulled it carefully so there's almost no head at all, or there's no head at all. Oh, straight away, oh, getting plumbing that straight away. Um, nicely carbonated, not heavily carbonated, but nicely carbonated. Um, it's not, is it completely opaque? Yeah. I'm up to the light with that, you can't see that so much, but that is completely black. It doesn't look very thick, but it is completely black. Let's see what she smells like. She smells fantastic. Oh. If they could make aftershave that smelled like some of these dark pores, I'd buy it in a heartbeat. Not sure the wife would like it very much, but I would buy it in a heartbeat. That smells delicious. Anyway. Let's get our face in it. Cheers, everybody. That is nice. Very nice indeed. Burnt coffee taste. Um, hint of hint of um, plum. You get more plum on the nose, I think, than you get in the taste. Although now I'm getting a bit on the back. Now I've already swallowed it. Not as carbonated as it looks in the glass. That's fairly flat, I have to say, which I quite like. Um, and not as thin as it looks in the glass. That's actually quite quite a claggy, thick kind of beer. Not as thick as some uh, porters I've had, but that is nectar. Oh, that's really good. Yeah, 6.8%. Um, there's a bit of blurb on the back, which I'll copy onto the uh, the YouTube channel. Um, but that's a really good beer. Um, that disappointing. That, again, it's my preferred style. Porter, stout, dark beer, mild, that kind of thing. So it's gonna score slightly higher than other beers would. That is a four and a half out of five from Man Cave Beer Reviews. Wiper and True, never heard of you before until I bought this beer. However, I will be seeking out your beers from now on and buying them, because that is absolutely delicious. Cheers everybody, thanks for watching, take care. Oh, I need a bigger bottle of that, that is lovely.